Roma versus Porto. A Roma 2.1, draw 3.5 and Porto 3.9. Um, now, Alex, you've got one of these on, on your uh, daily 2.0 bet over on Odds Market. And you actually said in it, you said it's not a match that everybody is really excited to bet on. I have to agree with that. I know you disagree. Um, I've sort of got strong leans and less convinced otherwise here. What do you like? I'm just going for goals in this one. Uh, Roma, a side that uh, in Syria has uh, scored more goals at home this season than uh, any other team uh, in the league, but also they've conceded. Uh, they are uh, only f only four teams have conceded more than them uh, at home, so uh, they are struggling to keep clean sheets. Uh, Porto, on the other side, are unbeaten in the last 26 matches in all competitions. This should be a really classic goals match. I'm going for the over 2.5 goals at 1.95 uh, with Bet365. I think that uh, uh, Roma um, ha are the favorites to win this one because they are playing at home uh, and they are uh, very, very good uh, uh, on their turf. But uh, mm. Porto can contribute on the scoreboard. This is why I really like the over 2.5 goals. Yes, I know that this is the first leg and nothing will be decided uh, be before the second leg. But I still think that... Uh, we will uh, we will see a high scoring affair in uh, in Rome. Interesting stuff. I know Romans have been a bit hit or miss. Um, yeah, they blew a three nil lead at Atlanta, conceded seven goals um, against Fiorentina in the Coppa Italia, but they drew hosting uh, Milan there one one. They beat Chievo twentieth place, though it's a match really they should have won. Um, a lot of people sort of like it. Well, I saw here um, liking Porto double chance flash. I know. Porto's definitely got the the value there, that 3.9. I know you're holding on to a Newcastle ticket, 5.5. Uh, Porto, 3.9. It sort of seems like something you might delve into. I'm going with the goals. I mean, I'm, I, I agree with what Alex says. I mean, whenever you have Roma on board, you've got to expect a basketball match and they do score. Um, I, I think that 2.25 with both score, both teams to score and over 2.5, the Alex Classic. Ooh. And this is probably the weakest of, of the four for me, but I'm definitely going to be playing it. I, I'm not, not going to complicate it. Um, I can see this being 2-2. I can see it being 3-2, but I, I can't see it being um, being unders. So, yeah, both teams to score and over 2.5, uh, 2.25. All right. So two on the goals front. Um, over to you, Martin. Now, be interesting if uh, you're, the, you're the final decider on this goals. Do you think there's goals here? I have to confess, I'm, uh, I'm very uninspired by this game, to be honest. I think mm. it's the, the weakest of all eight fixtures in the last 16 of the Champions League. Uh, when you consider the classics that are out there, Liverpool v Bayern Munich, Man United v PSG, I don't think there's going to be too much action going on the Roma v Porto game. I don't like it very much, to be honest. Uh, Roma are inconsistent. The two teams are pretty evenly matched, I feel. Um, Roma, as the guys have both mentioned, are a very high-scoring side, like to throw caution mm. to the wind. But I feel like Porto are a very conservative side, often involved in a lot of low-scoring games, a lot of tight, tense contests. So I'm going to stay away from the goals on this one. I don't have a major bet, I'm afraid. If pushed, I'd probably put a small stake on just the home win simply because Roma have home advantage and they have been pretty good at home this season. Yeah, you're definitely th on my level of thinking uh, for this match, I have to say. And um, my leans are, I'm looking at the over 2.25 goals. Sometimes Porto can keep those games tight, you know, and it's just, you know, so anyway, that, that's why I was leaning on the over 2.25 at 1.7. I think I'm going to keep it, uh, though, as a lean. But again, Roma, such high scoring at home. They're 28 goals over 11 games. Um, a message, Musty says, sending Valentine's fives, which actually just reminds me, on Thursday, Thursday, we are be we're giving away another Team Bankroll t-shirt because it is Valentine's Day, February the 14th. So do tune in for the show 2 p.m. Eastern time and uh, hopefully you guys, we've given two away so far. So hopefully you can be the third. Um, all right. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, Natalie. Just to, to tell to everyone, uh, uh, we Champions League uh, new, fix, new schedule this uh, season is the four matches from the knockout stages are happening this week and the rest four matches are happening next week. So we are discussing the four that are happening this week, two on this video, two on the next video. And next week on Monday, we are gathering back to talk Liverpool, Bayern, Lyon, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Juventus and Schalke versus Manchester City. Mm. I thought you were going to be discussing where my T-shirt is. It's, it's on its way. Oh, 
Goodness me, oh, I tell you. Out. Yeah, it is actually on its way. Checks in the post. It's it's on it it's on its way. No, it is actually on its way. I was asking. It was being printed and now is it have, have you got it from the princess Alex or is it on its way? No, it's on its way to me. The, tomorrow I think that I will get them and uh, on Wednesday I will uh, I will post them to the guys. I will uh, There you go. I'm going to the postal office. Good. There you go. See flash on its way. Bye. Well, okay, only ask a question, you've answered it. <laughs> Not the first time you've asked, though, is it? <laughs> well, <laughs> nor the oh. third, nor the tenth. <laughs> so it's, it's on its way. It's on its way. Um, Angel Romero, actually, quickly, before we go on to the match here, says, exactly, Natalie, Roma games in tournaments usually play really tight and defensively.